What is happening my friends? Welcome to Don's Adventures. It has been a while since I last saw you guys. I've been very busy doing all kinds of stuff. But we are back, back at the beach and we're gonna be doing some fishing and hopefully landing some big fish so I could do a catch and cook for you guys. Uh, we're gonna be setting up two rods. I got some rod holders. I got my net just in case I get something big I can lower it down and get something big and by big I mean maybe a guitar fish that's my target for today guys I want to get a guitar fish or maybe a big croaker or a corbina or just a big fish in general I'm tired of getting little fish so the goal for today is to get some big fish take some meat home and I'm also going to preserve and use the carcasses of the fish I'm gonna get to make some bone meal. But that would be a whole different episode that I will incorporate in my gardening episodes that I'm doing. Um, videos that I'm doing, I haven't done any of the episodes yet, but that's another, a whole other subject. I'm gonna get into it with you guys in a future episode. But today's goal is to set up I got some squid, I got some shrimp, we got our rods, we're going to set up the um, PVC pipes as uh, rod holders, cast out and hopefully get something. Um, the tide is on its way up, so in a couple of hours this water will be way up, splashing all the way up and possibly coming in as you can see so let's get started guys Got a bag of shrimp, got a bag of squid, a little bit of each. It's a pretty good one. I just have to make sure it doesn't get stuck in the rocks now. Let me turn it around so you guys can see it. When it does come in. Oh no. Just what I don't want. Oh, it's a... I see it. It's a leopard shark. I see it. There it is. It's a leopard. Not the species I was looking for. That's a nice, it's a nice fish, but that's not what I'm looking for. No, 
Okay. It's such a beautiful fish, guys. It's such a beautiful fish. Look at that. My God, look at the beauty of that fish. If it would just relax, I could let him go. Guys, we're gonna return this guy back home. There you go, buddy. And he's gone. Not the species we're looking for, but still a fish. Alright, let's rebate, get it out there. Hopefully we'll land something we could make some talk burritos with that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make some burritos it's just a fish wrap I don't know what this is. It's coming in. Like, it just like almost tore off. What is that? Oh, it's another leopard. Oh my God. It almost tore off my freaking... Well, that's a bigger one. That's a way bigger one. Did you guys see that? It almost literally took my rod. Yeah, it's bigger, but... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Another one, way bigger. But another leopard. Looks like there's a lot of leopards out here. Leopard. Beautiful leopard shark. Just beautiful. Alright. Let's go ahead and release this guy too. Look at him. There you go. All right, guys, I don't know what's going on. That's the second leopard and it's even bigger than the last one. They seem to be 
they seem to be liking the shrimp guys I don't know what it is with leopards and shrimp but that's the trend man I'm hoping we get something uh, that we could keep next time but oh. we're gonna keep at it we're gonna keep at it until we get something but I'll tune you guys back in as soon as we get around something out very rayish it's very rayish very slow sloppy fight I think I saw it guys. I think it's like a cow nose ray. Yep, a cow nose ray. And that's on the squid head. I put a squid head on this one guys. And we got ourselves a cow nose ray. sea creature it's gone all right guys that's the third fish again not the fish that we wanted but we're still getting something Guys, check this out. This really nice gentleman named Dave. He saw me fishing out here. And he noticed I was rigging on some shrimp. And every five minutes or so, I would uh, reel, my, uh, reel it back and put more shrimp. Because, you know, they just take the shrimp. And I'm literally almost out of bait. So, he was up there watching me. And he gave me a whole bag of bait. And he also gave me a spool of magic thread. You use this stuff to tie the shrimp on your hook so the fish doesn't just steal the shrimp off. Really cool people guys, when you're out fishing and you come across other fishermen, most of the time they're willing to help you out if you're uh, low on something, if you're missing any gear. I love the fishing community, man. That's so awesome. So Dave, if you're watching this, Hope you are. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, guys, that's going to be for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Too bad I couldn't get something to cook up. But um, at least, you know, I came out and fished a little bit. Got some fish. And I want to thank Mr. Mike, if you're watching this, for that magic thread. Uh, I'm going to make a whole episode on that next time and I'm going to bring the big, big guns out and we're going to go after some big fish uh, because that's going to allow us to tie on the, a lot of bait on the hook and keep it on there to attract more fish and hopefully get some bigger fish too. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet then go ahead and press that subscribe button 
I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. I'm at 950 some change. I would really appreciate that guys. I will see you guys on the next episode. Take care.